Okay, out of the UK, atheism and Islam on the rise in the UK as Christianity suffers a dramatic decline. Um, there was a poll done by the National Center for Social Research that polled about 4,000 people um, where 38% described themselves as Christian, which is a fall from 50% in 2008, and 66% um, in 1983. So just to let you guys know where that kind of stands again, in 1983, 66% of the UK was Christian, and today 38% are Christian. So they've declined uh, in half. Those identifying as Muslim increased 1% um, from 1983 to 3%. In 2008 and 6% in 2018. So they're saying Islam is on the rise. Um, and they added that religious decline in Britain's general uh, generational as people tend to be less religious than their parents. So, um, yeah, every generation there's more and more and more atheists. Well, yeah, but Islam is rising, so that's scary, right? Um, so it's good news that Christianity is dying, but bad news that Islam is rising. But I guess it's actually a net positive, isn't it? Like 38%. So, so in the same, is it the same? Are they looking at the same time frame? Are they comparing apples to apples? Like Absolutely. So, we started in 1983, mm -hmm. went to 2008, and then, you know, now 2018. So, they did the same thing with people who are identifying as Muslim, people mm -hmm. who are identifying as atheist. And people who are identifying as Christian. Okay. So in those polls, that's how it. So a fifty percent decline in Christianity and a two percent increase in Islam, right? Yep. So overall, good. And by the way, did, did they mention that Islam rising? Is it become? Is it? There's two sources for this, right? Either uh, it could be both, but I don't know which one is more. Is it because of immigration? Or the p Muslims that are already in um, in Britain having more kids. Yeah, that's a really uh, that's a really good question. Hmm. That's one that I will look for if you want to discuss something really quick. So the sad thing is that if this, if society was not desegregated in UK, just like the Christian new the every generation you know the new the kids of Christians are becoming atheists. If Muslim kids would also become atheists, right? If everybody was mixed together, right? But Muslim kids are not becoming atheists. I mean, they are actually, but not as fast as Christian kids becoming atheists, right? So this is another reason why I say the best way to fight uh, Islam is to befriend Muslims. You have to mix and mingle with them. Um, because if you mix and mingle with them, then, you know, you expose them to other ideas, right? Again, you can see that in countries like Canada, every, you know, every generation, the Muslims are becoming, you know, if the parents were very religious, the kids are not very religious, and probably their kids are going to become, have a higher percentage of atheists, right? But in a country like UK, where Muslims have their own community and their own schools and their own shopping places and their own mosque and everything is separated, well, now you're getting a rise from 1% to 3% in Islam. In, in the United States, Muslims um, are, I think the number was 25% of Muslims, new generation of Muslims in the United States, are abandoning Islam. Why? Because they're mixed with the rest of the society, unlike the UK. So... And, you know, we had the previous news that, that woman on the plane, how they were, how she was treating Muslims. She was treating them extremely rudely, right? The, and they think, like, they're anti-Islam. No, actually, if you want to really be anti-Islam, then be nice to Muslims and invite them in your community, right? That's how you fight Islam, right? The nicer you are to Muslims, the sooner we'll, we'll be able to defeat Islam. Um, hey, Armin. So, uh, just to let you know that I can't find anything about the 4,000 people that they polled from the National Center for Social Research. Right. Um, so, right. I'm unable to determine completely whether these are, are immigration or people who are just converting. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening.
Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.